So on the Sony A77 Mark II, there's a brand new feature of autofocus which is called Lock On AF Expand Flexible Spot. And basically what it means is that the camera has a flexible spot which you can control by joystick and moving around, you know, around on the screen and, and choose your subject. Or if you have, say, object tracking on or face detection on, it will go ahead and do the face detection and the object tracking. And the lock on means that the minute that you push the shutter button down, it will lock on that subject that you were focused on for the moment. And it'll tell you which one you're using because it'll show you a double box around the subject. So this is just some shots that I did at breakfast this morning with the kids. And you can see right there, there's a double box around my daughter. And let me just stop that right there. So what happened here was, uh, and I'll just go back. You see right there that there was a double box. That's because it was object tracking. So what happened was, as I'm going around, there's it's got face detection on. Face detection means that the square is looking for faces, and it'll show you faces. So if there are multiple faces in it, it would show multiple faces. But if I would then use one of these focus spots to emphasize a single face and then press the button down halfway, what happens is, is it will then put a double box around that one face. And as long as your finger is held down, it will stick to that face. So here I've let go, and you can see that it started all over again. So now it's looking for a face to find, and now it found it, and then it's going to hang on to that face. So I'll go ahead and hit play, and we'll show it in real time. It's going to hang on to that face, even though other things are going around it. So there it's, it's found it again, and now my son is crossing in front, and you notice that it says, oh, well, that's the face that Gary originally wanted, and it will lock on to that, and there's the double box. So that's kind of a really cool feature because it works really fast. And even when things go in front of your subject, it will then eventually find and then capture. And now watch. As I'm going around during the screen, you can see that I'm going into backlight and you can see that I'm going into uh, off-center and everything like that. But the exposure on my daughter's face stays the same. And that's because the uh, face detection and that uh, object lock is hanging on to that one portion of the frame and it says you know what I'm going to go ahead and expose for the face double box when I move away the double box stays on and you notice she stays in focus so it says oh there she is again I can I can come in it finds her and then shoots again and there's no backlight. So what would typically happen in an optical situation is I would have to move the focus spot around, which is really hard to do when you're zooming back and forth and have other things that are going in front of your frame like that. And then I would have to then perhaps do spot metering or uh, exposure lock in order to make sure that she's in focus. Now you notice right here it lost her face because she's completely turned around. The black dot in the middle is the one that is my vari variable focus spot. But the minute she turns around again, uh, she's caught. And then there she goes. Now it can't find her face, but there's her face. And then it caught it again.